Hi everyone, it's me Deepa. I recently shared a video with my very own nighttime oil treatment routine and one of the main ingredients included was neem oil. So many of you actually messaged and asked me where I got neem oil to purchase and even though they are actually found in various stores in Trinidad and Tobago it is pretty simple to make on your own so I've decided to create a video making it at home it's pretty simple and I hope it's helpful to all of you start by gathering at least four to five cups of neem leaflets don't forget to thoroughly wash your neem leaves here I have at least five cups of neem leaves and I'm going to place my neem leaves into my blender. You could also use a food processor. The next step would be to puree your neem leaves. For added benefits and also to help to achieve a very very nice smooth consistency I'm adding coconut oil, pure coconut oil to my neem leaves. This would help with the puree process and both coconut oil and neem leaves combined it has so many added benefits for your hair and for your scalp even for your skin i would actually link uh, some websites down below so that you all can do some research and reading on all the benefits that this mixture actually has As you all can see, I kept adding a little coconut oil at a time and blending as I went along and I was able to achieve a really nice smooth consistency which is what I actually wanted. So I'm very happy at this point. Okay guys, so once you have achieved that perfect smooth consistency, you should then add your puree to a heated pot, low to medium heat. You don't want your pot to be very, very hot. This should be a nice, slow process, but it's not too much of a long process. It should take maybe 10, between 10 and 12 minutes. So get all that puree into that pot. And stir consistently. You want to eyeball your pot. Don't leave it for too long. Keep stirring as much as you can. And the idea is to achieve a really nice rich green color.
keep stirring it's not quite finished yet I'm still not seeing that color that I'm looking for At this point just to see the color of my neem oil just to make sure if it's finished or not I'm using a piece of tissue and just placing a few drops of my neem oil on it just to see the color of it again I'm trying to achieve a really nice dark green color I'm actually put in a few drops again and I don't think it's quite ready yet but it's getting there it did get a little bit darker in color but I want it to get just a little bit darker green Okay, a lot closer so we are reaching to our finishing point just a little bit darker so hopefully this is it here there we go I'm so sorry about my lighting here but while doing this video I could see the colors that I was really looking for and it really did reach to that green color that I was really trying to achieve turn your heat off and pour your neem oil into a bowl cover it and let it sit for approximately two hours after your two hours has passed make sure that you have your container that you would like to store your neem oil into and you would also need a strainer or a sieve and also a deep spoon or maybe a little scoop that would help assist you in pouring your neem oil into your storage container so you want to just take your time and pour small amounts of the oil into your storage container There we go, neem oil. Perfectly done, exactly the way that I wanted it. Really nice, rich and green in color. And very, very easy to achieve. There is some residue that is left to the bottom of this container. Once you are using a strainer, more than likely you will get residue. To avoid this, I would suggest you use a very fine cloth to strain your neem oil. I'm going to demonstrate using cheese cloth to strain my neem oil. You can also use another very fine cloth, maybe two, for example. So here I've placed my cloth over a glass a drinking glass and now I'm going to pour my the remaining neem oil onto my cheesecloth I doubled my cheesecloth so and I also secured my cheesecloth using a rubber band after you finish pouring all of the neem oil that was left over Hold your cheesecloth in place and 
take the rubber band off you want to hold it firmly and once you have gathered all four pieces of your cheesecloth you want to squeeze as tightly as possible and get all that oil out honestly once you use a strainer there's a lot of wastage with your oil so in order to get as much oil as possible I would suggest using a cloth and I would demonstrate the amount of oil that would be wasted when you use a strainer as you can see on my tree there's a little bit of neem paste left from using my strainer before so I'm gonna take the remaining paste and put it onto my cheesecloth and you'll see how much oil was actually left over after using a strainer it's actually quite a bit that would have been wasted so I would suggest you use a, a very fine cloth preferably cheesecloth and there we go so I hope you guys liked my video. Please share and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys!